hope that you have seen the questions uh, on transistors. So this is a MCQ video on transistors. We have uh, that is you have already seen the questions. Now we are going to see the solutions on transistors. So here in this video we are preparing for Keltron recruitment and also for Bach, Stifendry, Trainee and ISR technical assistant uh, examination or recruitment which is going to happen. Okay, very soon. Okay, so uh, we are going to see the solutions. So before seeing the solutions, let us have a very quick a revision on the various configurations of transistors and the equations okay so the most important equations only i'll be discussing the other uh, equations we have actually done as a formula revision video and it has been given in the analog electronics playlist okay so let us see the most important equations which is highly useful for your competitive examinations so before seeing the equations there are mainly three configurations of transistors first one is common emitter I'll write it as C, then there is common base, then common collector. Okay, so these are the main or the three main configurations of the transistors. The most commonly used one is common emitter. In power electronics applications and in mainly all applications, we generally use common emitter configuration only. Common collector is uh, generally used for impedance matching. I'll write it here okay it is used for impedance matching also it is called emitter follower okay this is very important term so if the question is regarding emitter follower means it is common collector okay so these things you should be knowing now let us see how the input output terminals all these things are coming okay so, first let us draw the structure of a common emitter. Okay, common emitter, I will actually give you a very quick idea about how to remember the input and output terminals. Okay, common emitter means here the emitter is common. So, I will draw it as a branch like this. Input is like this and output is like this. So, for a common emitter, input is base, output is collector. Okay, now for a common base, Base is common, emitter is input, collector is output. So, we will draw like this. Next, for common collector, collector is common, emitter is input, sorry, base is input and emitter is output. This is how the three configurations are actually coming. One terminal is common, one is input and one is taken as output. Okay. Now, very important equation is the current gain equation. So, for the common emitter, the current gain is called as beta. Okay, next we are going to discuss the current gains. These are very important equations only. Okay, current gain is beta and it is given by IC by IB. Okay, next one. Here the current gain is alpha, that is IC by IE. You don't have to study it as by heart. This is just output current to input current. See, output is here, input is here. Output to input, output, input. Okay, you don't have to study it is by heart. Next, for common collector, it is called as gamma. This is current gain, okay. Gamma is given by IE by IB. Okay, so these are the equations. Next, another very important equation is there is a relation between the currents. There is a emitter current, collector current and base current. So, the relation is like this. I will write it on the top. Okay. IE is equal to IC plus IB. This is a case for common emitter, common emitter case. Okay. So generally, we will use only this equation. Okay. So, we cannot see this equation. So, I will write it here itself. So, the relation is like this. I, IE is equal to IC plus IB. Okay. That is total emitter current is equal to collector current plus base current. Okay. Now, another important equations are the equations in terms of the leakage currents. Okay. So, next I am going to write that equations. First, I am going to remove this equations. So, before that, again another important uh, equation that you should be studying or should you should be knowing is the relations between these current gains okay so that i'll write so beta is equal to 
in terms of alpha you can write beta as beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha okay this is the relation very very important relation next one here alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta again a very important relation and finally gamma is equal to gamma is 1 plus beta okay so these three relations are very very important that's why i have actually put in box okay so these are the equations next let us see some equations of uh, currents and voltages in terms of the leakage uh, current and all okay so i'm going to remove this i hope that you have taken uh, down this notes okay next very very important relations Okay, so in the common base configuration that is in CB, the collector current IC is equal to, okay, so CB, collector current IC is given by alpha times IE plus ICBO. Now this ICBO is collector to base leakage current, okay. Now, next case, for common emitter case, the current IC is given by beta times IB plus ICEO. These two equations are very, very important. Okay. So, here we are also considering the, the leakage current. This is the leakage current, collector to emitter leakage current. This is the collector to base leakage current. Okay. So, this is the total collector current by considering the main current and also the leakage current okay now another important equations are for these two the next is the equations for icbo and ico see these two currents the values are given by icbo is equal to 1 minus alpha into iceo this is one relation again iceo is given by 1 plus beta times ICBO. Okay. So, these are the two relations for the leakage currents. So, how is the two leakage currents related in terms of the current gains? This is how you are representing. That is ICBO is equal to 1 minus alpha ICO and ICEO is equal to 1 plus beta times ICBO. Okay. So, these are the two relations. Next is the equation for VCC. So, we generally use this expression also. That's why I am including. Okay. VCC is equal to VCE plus ICRC. That is, in order to find the total supply voltage, VC is equal to collector to emitter voltage plus collector current into collector resistance. Okay. And from this, you can find VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRC. So, when solving uh, the transistor related problems and all, we make use of these two equations very often okay so that's why i have included okay so vcc is equal to vce plus icrc from that you will get vc is equal to vcc minus icrc okay so these are the most important equations which we which you will always find useful while solving especially the uh, questions really numerical questions related to transistors okay another important thing you should be knowing is the relations or the comparison of the current gain voltage gain all those things okay so next we are going to see a table of comparison of the current gain voltage gain input resistance output resistance and all okay so i have actually seen a lot of questions connected with this relation that is which one is uh, having medium current gain or which one is having highest current gain so these type of question especially you will be finding in competitive examinations okay so we are going to study the comparison of first current gain current gain let us see for common emitter then common base then common collector okay so i hope you can see the board okay so current gain if you see the current gains the highest current gain is actually for common emitter okay so this is having the or oh, this is the high value current gain is for common emitter. 
for common base it is there is actually very less or no currently no or less here it is medium okay so this is how the current gain is vary this type of questions can come okay that is uh, out of the given option which one is having the highest current gain so you have to choose common emitter likewise okay next for voltage gain again voltage gain for common emitter is high that is up to 500 it will go approximately okay then here it is 150 so it is like medium okay medium now for common collector it is actually less than what or less than unity so if uh, the option or the question actually i have seen a lot of questions asking which of the following configuration has current gain less than unity so you have to pick common collector okay now moving on to the next uh, next parameters okay so next parameter is input resistance input resistance is low for common emitter it is again low for common base also and it is high for common collector okay so this is how the relation is going now output resistance common emitter output resistance is high here it is very high and for common collector it is low okay so this is how the relation is coming so this is the case for input resistance so if you cannot see i'll write it on top okay input resistance and this is the case for output resistance okay so input resistance is like this and output resistance is going like this next applications that is which uh, frequency related applications these configurations are being used okay common emitter is generally used for audio frequency applications audio frequency common base is used for high frequency applications and common collector is generally used for impedance matching purpose okay impedance match again i have seen this question which of the configuration is used for impedance matching so here we have actually compared for five uh, parameters current gain voltage gain input resistance output resistance and application okay so this is how the comparison is going so i'm really hoping that you found uh, these informations useful next we are going to see the solutions of the questions there is a 10 questions which you have actually seen by this time okay so we are going to see the solutions of the questions one by one okay so let me remove this So the first question is, first question is most of the majority carriers from the emitter dash. One, recombine uh, in the base. Two, recombine in the emitter. Three, pass through the base region to the collector. Four, none of the above. So let us consider the case of an NPN transistor. So this is the N region. This is the P region. And this is the end region okay so this region is emitter this is base this is collector so when this transistor is in working condition what will happen the electrons will start to flow from this emitter region towards the collector right collector side but there is a middle region which is called the base and how is the uh, majority carrier that is transport happening that is a question okay so consider that electrons when they are passing through this or uh, when, they, when they are getting generated from the emitter side or they are trans, transported towards the collector side there is a middle region but this region is very lightly doped okay so the recombination rate of the holes in this uh, base with the electrons coming from the n region will be very less and mostly the electrons will pass through the base and will reach the collector side so why this is actually happening because the 
doping of the base region is very less. So due to this very less doping, recombination rate will be actually very less. So the first and second option is actually saying recomb recombine in the base and recombine in the emitter. But the correct answer is 3. It will pass through the base region to the collector. Why? Because the base region is very lightly doped and the width is also very less. So recombination rate is very less. Mostly they will pass through base and reach the collector. So the option correct is third. Okay. Option 3 is the correct answer. Next question. Second question is, in a transistor if beta is equal to 100 and collector current is 10 milliampere, then IE is dash, that is emitter current is dash. Okay, so here uh, the values that are given are beta is given as 100, IC is given as 10 milliampere, that is 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 amperes. Then you need to find the value for the emitter current. Okay. So, the relation is like this, emitter current IE is equal to IC plus IB. Here, you don't know the value of IB, but you can substitute that in terms of IC and beta. So, the relation is like this, beta is equal to IC by IB. From this, you can substitute IB is equal to IC by beta. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that here. So, IC by beta, right. So, just taking IC as common, beta plus 1 by beta, right. So, beta plus 1 by beta, the value of beta is 100. So, it is 101 by 100, 101 by 100 into 10 into 10 raised to minus 3, right. So, if you cancel it, you will be getting 10.1 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is 10.1 milliampere's okay so the value of emitter current is obtained as 10.1 milliampere correct answer is option 2 okay so this is how you do the problem on finding the value of emitter current these type of questions we can expect okay next question third question so the third question is the relation between beta and alpha is dash okay it's a direct question so we have just now discussed the relation so the relationship between beta and alpha is beta equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha then all the relations are actually given in terms of beta so beta you can actually write as beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha this is the relation okay so you have to pick the correct relation from the given option alpha by 1 minus alpha the correct answer is option 3 okay only 3 is having actually uh, alpha in numerator okay 4 is also having but in the denominator is uh, it is 1 plus so you require alpha by 1 minus alpha and it is given in option 3 okay so 3 is the correct answer for the third question okay next question fourth question okay the most commonly used transistor arrangement is dash so just now we have discussed that also correct answer is option one which is common emitter okay in power applications uh, or power electronics applications mostly we will be only using common emitter okay common collector is used for impedance matching so uh, for just like this for special cases we are using the other configurations mostly we are using common emitter only next question that is the fifth question the output impedance of a transistor connected in dash arrangement is highest okay so you just have to go back and see the the table of comparison we have discussed just now, which is having the highest uh, output impedance. Okay, output impedance is high for which configuration? So, I am just uh, reading the table from the table. Output impedance for common emitter is high, common base is very high, common collector is low. So, common base is having very high impedance. So, correct answer is 3, which is common base. Okay. So, this comparison table is very useful. Okay. Next. Sixth question. Sixth question is, power gain in a transistor connected in dash arrangement is highest. So, just now we have discussed that common, commonly we use the common emitter configuration for power electronics applications. So, 
why we are using the common emitter in power electronics applications because power gain is high for common emitter okay so correct answer is one the common emitter is actually having the power gain highest okay next as the temperature of a transistor goes up the base emitter resistance dash so we have uh, seen that when the temperature is increased what will happen the electrons will tend to break the bond and free carriers are generated and the cu current current will uh, get generated or some leakage currents currents will be actually uh, current value will be minute current will be uh, generated due to the temperature increase okay so when the current is increasing means it is indicating that the resistance is going low so as the temperature of a transistor is going up means the base emitter resistance will will get reduced or it is decreasing correct answer is one that is when the temperature is increasing the base emitter resistance is decreasing okay next question the voltage gain of a transistor connected in common collector arrangement is dash okay voltage gain of common collector just look back to the table and you will be finding that it is less than one for common collector just note this down it is very useful common collector voltage gain is less than unity or less than one okay correct answer is four next question so once you study the equations and the table of comparison which we have discussed in the beginning it is actually easy for you to solve many questions so if the value of alpha is 0 0.9 what is the value of beta again you have to use the relation here and if you know the relation directly you can solve this question so the relation is between beta and alpha beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha alpha value is given alpha is equal to 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 by 1 minus 0 0.9 and you will be getting the value of beta okay beta value is 90 okay 90 is the value of beta correct answer is option 4 is the correct answer 90 next question the last question when transistors are used in digital circuits okay they usually operate in the dash region one active to break down three saturation and cut off four linear okay now there is this is a little bit uh, tricky question so uh, when we are using transistors in logic circuit they usually operate in which all conditions we know that in digital circuit there is only two states there is a one state there is a zero state or you can call it as an on state to the fullest and the off state okay so this is not a partial on state or a uh, minimal on state it is a full on state so it is called logic high this is logic low or zero logic one and logic zero so these values are only present in digital circuits so when the transistor is in highest uh, conducting state it is called saturation state right so one is corresponding to the saturation state that is when transistor is used here for digital circuits we require a full on state or a high state and for that case we require a saturation state and for a zero we require cutoff so only these two states are required or are generally required for uh, making transistors to work in digital circuits so i am i am i'm hoping that you understood uh, the explanation see in logical circuits or in digital circuits we only have a high state and a low state that means a full on state and a full off state ones and zeros right so for a one means it should be in the highest or full conducting state or in the peak conducting state it is a saturation when it is non conducting means it is in cutoff so one and zero is corresponding to so one is for saturation zero is for cutoff okay so these are the two states or region of operations required correct answer is option three okay so these are the questions which i have included in this video 
so if any of your friends or uh, if you are preparing for either bar examination or isr examination or keltron examinations please do refer these videos to those friends uh, okay so i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching